In this video, I am going to show you how to use Google Assignments if your teacher has chosen to do so in your Brightspace course shell. To get started, what you want to do is log into Brightspace, and then you're going to come to your course shell for your course. Now, when you're in here, most likely your teacher has created the assignment under the content tab. So we're going to go to content. We're going to go under unit one and here is our Google assignment. So you know it's a Google assignment if it has this icon at the side here. We're going to click on that and then the first time that you come in here what you need to do is sign in through your Google account if you're not already signed in. So I'm going to click on that. What that's going to do is bring up this pop-up window here. So I'm going to sign into my Google account and then I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to click next. And then the first time that you sync up to Google Assignments in Brightspace, for every single course, it's going to ask you some permissions. So really all it's doing is it's asking for the ability to be able to talk and sync to your Google Drive. So you're just going to come down here and click on link. Now this does take a minute, so you just need to be patient and let it run because what it's doing right now is it's creating a folder for you in your Google Drive. And then what it's going to do is take the Google assignment, make a copy of the template file for you, and then put that into your Brightspace course shell. So like I said, it does take a minute for it to pop up. But now that it's popped up, here is our Google assignment. So just to kind of get a lay of the land here, what you'll notice is you have your assignment name. You can see that it's assigned. You can see the total points value here. If there's a due date, it would also show up here. And if there's a rubric, you would also see it at the bottom here. So we do have a rubric with this one. If we just click on the title or if we click on the drop down arrow, it'll open up the rubric for you and you can take a look at it there. To access your template file or your assignment, there's one of two ways that you can do that. You can click on open to attach and submit or you can click on your file right here. Now you'll notice your file is named with your name as well as the name of the template itself. So please don't change that because that is very, very helpful to your teacher. What you're gonna do then, actually what we're gonna do in this video is we're just gonna go to open to attach and submit because I do wanna show you through this window. Now you get a little bit more information here. So you can click on your file if we click on that, that's gonna open another tab. And then what you're gonna do is complete your work in here. So you're just gonna come in and type what you um, need to type in here and you can submit it that way. So whenever you're done with your work, you're gonna come over back to assignment one. So again, you can access this if you go back through Brightspace and click on that open to attach and submit but I'm just gonna come over to this window here. Now what's really cool here is you can also add other files. So you can go into your Google Drive and you can add anything here. So if you needed to add, say for example, a video or a Google slide presentation that you created that went along with your assignment, you can do that here. As long as it's in your Google Drive, it's something that you can add. And then you can also create a new doc sheet or slide right from here as well. So you could come in and click on one of these if you needed to create um, a bit more work that goes along with your template file that you're working in. Now it's possible your teacher has turned on originality reports and if they have, then you can run an originality report. So if we click on that, what that's going to do is just show you that it's um, going to run a report. You can only run up to three reports for a specific assignment. So just important to kind of read the instructions here. You can click run or cancel. So maybe wait if until the end, until you're ready to run that. But whenever you're done with your work, you can click submit. 
It'll ask you for some confirmation. So you're just going to click on submit anyway. And so again, it does take a second, but what you're going to see once it's submitted successfully is this window here. It's going to say you're all set, your assignment is submitted and ready for your instructor to review. Now, if there's something you forgot to add or change, you can come down here and click on the unsubmit button and fix your work and then resubmit it again. So it's very much like Google Classroom in that regard. Now, when you come back in to Brightspace, if we just refresh the page, you do see a very similar page here as well. So you're going to just see that message saying you're all set and it's ready for your instructor to review. Now, I just want to show you what it looks like once you have your work evaluated by your teacher. I'm just going to show you this in a different course shell because I have this example already returned to the same student then what you're going to end up seeing is your grade. So if it was given a grade, it's going to show up here. You're going to see your file. And then if your teacher has left you comments in your file, you're going to see those comments here as well as some overall feedback. And then you can go in and click on your file. And what you're going to see in here is just the comments that your teacher has left for you. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an overview of how Google Assignments works and how easy it is to get started.